We just brought the entire world into Unreal Engine 5. London, Tokyo, Vancouver, Rome, anywhere. Just find the coordinates, set up your camera, do the lighting, and you got it. It's as simple as that. This is crazy. Think about it. You can use this as an intro, transition, or outro shots for documentaries, YouTube videos, and even film. Check this out. We are gonna teach you how you can bring Google Maps into Unreal Engine. How long will it take? Five minutes. In this video, you're going to learn how to take the Cesium plugin and connect it to the Google API to bring the world inside Unreal Engine 5. And at the very end, we're also gonna give you some tips on how you can maximize the quality of your map. Let's get it. First, we need to download the Cesium plugin. Open the Epic Launcher and head to the Marketplace. Search for Cesium and get the Cesium for Unreal plugin and install it. Let's set up the Google Maps API. Go to Google and search for the Google Maps platform. Once you're in, look for the Map Tiles API and then enable it. Accept the terms and provide your credit card for verification purposes, but don't worry, there are no charges. Once it's enabled, go to Credentials and copy your API key. Now open Unreal Engine and create a new project. Go to Edit, Plugins, search for Cesium, enable it and restart. Create a new empty level. You should see the Cesium panel by now. If you don't, open it by going to Window, Cesium. Add the Cesium Sun Sky and blank 3D Tiles tile set. And now we're gonna connect Unreal Engine to Google Maps. In the Outliner, click on the Cesium 3D Tile tile set. Then in the Details tab, change the source to From URL. Copy this URL from the Cesium documentation and paste it in the URL field. I'll also put the link in the description below, just so it's easy for you. Now for the final step, you will need to replace the Maps API key with your own Google API key. And just like that, you should now see the world well into existence in front of your eyes. You're welcome. Now you got the whole world in there. How can you find an exact location? Well, we're gonna need the latitude and the longitude. To get these numbers, just type the location you want in Google and add the word coordinates at the end. In the outliner, click on the Cesium georeference. Then in the details tab, copy and paste the coordinates. And now you have the power of teleportation. Dude, it's just a Google Maps API, bro. Don't make it sound so big. bro. They have the power. Now, what if you wanted to change the time of day? Easy, peasy, lemon squeezy. That's so lame. <laughs> Easy peasy. In the outliner, click on the cesium sun sky. Then in the details tab, find date and time. Play with these parameters to get the desired look that you want. Here's a neat trick. I'm gonna show you how you can increase the quality of your map. Go to cesium 3D tile set, scroll down until you see level of detail. Play with max screen space error. The lower the number, the finer the details. But of course, at the cost of your performance. Now to make it look even better, as a final touch, we're gonna add our good old friend, post-process volume. Go ahead and play with the bloom, exposure, chromatic aberration, film grain, and vignette to get that final beautiful touch. All right, so we're recording this part after finishing all of our renders. And so we have some tips and tricks that we wanted to share with you guys and some bugs that we faced. Every single time these tiles are loading, you're actually sending a request to Google and there's a limit to how many requests you can have. And so right in the middle of our project, we ended up having an empty map and there was error sending requests to Google because we just sent too many requests because we're moving around the map at a really high resolution. So bring down the resolution and just be aware that if your map stops loading, there's a very good chance that you're sending too many requests. You can go ahead and create a new account with a new credit card, new credentials, just to get a new API key so that you can continue working. That's also another solution. Now, the second thing is lighting. We have tried the Cesium Sun Sky. We tried the Ultra Dynamic Sky add-on and the default environment light mixer, which we can set up every single time we open an Unreal Engine project. And out of all three, we found out that we like the default environment light mixer the most. The Cesium Sun Sky is pretty good, but there's some issues that we had because we couldn't control everything. With the Ultra Dynamic Sky, there was too many controls. And so, because I believe the height 
of where this map is sitting is messing around with where the fog is we didn't have enough time to play around with the ultra dynamic sky so our end result was not very good we ended up using the default light system because it just worked out of the box if you're trying to render out a png sequence and your sky doesn't render in the final image then you probably have right alpha on which is exporting it as a transparent image so go ahead and turn that off right before you export and that way your sky should be in your render and now you know how to bring the entire world into unreal engine 5. honestly the possibilities for this are endless we are going to use it for our next cinematic when the drone shot is going over the valley of the kings with the egyptian project that we've been showing you guys all over instagram so if you haven't followed us there yet please do because we show a lot of our daily activities on Instagram. And make sure to subscribe here as well to see the next Wait, video. no, no, no. Subscribe! <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, all right. You know, we were supposed to say the M, M word, <laughs> but we're not saying it anymore because one of you guys requested in the comment section for us to stop saying it for one reason, because you were showing it to your child and you wanted her or him to learn Unreal Engine. So... As a sign of respect, even though we would love to use the word, we we're not going to do it anymore because we respect you guys. So subscribe. See you guys tomorrow. It's hard for me not to say it, but subscribe. See you guys later. Ciao.